Global warming changes the patterns of the weather. More intense weather conditions bring about more storms, sea level rising. People might notice that spring is now coming significantly earlier and even things like freak of weather occurrences like the snow event we had uh, last year. So with climate change, the predictions are of course that the weather system across Europe and other parts of the world is perhaps increasingly more unpredictable and variable than it's been in the past. I don't think that there is global warming. I think that our air quality is what it is and I don't know that there needs to be dramatic things done to improve it. I think climate change is happening. I know there are some that think that it's just a natural occurrence. I think it probably is true that it's to do with CO2 emissions. I do think that climate change is affected a lot by cities in respect that there is a lot of carbon emissions in cities. The sources of air pollutants that are also climate agents are largely man-made taking ozone, for example. Ozone isn't actually emitted into the atmosphere, it's produced by chemical reactions in the presence of another class of pollutants, the nitrogen oxides, NOx. Cars, vehicles themselves produce NOx. Power stations, combustion, heating systems produce NOx. And these, together with sunlight, produce ozone, a powerful greenhouse gas. Certain air pollutants that we're exposed to may be higher, particularly ozone, during heat waves. And if heat waves are more frequent under climate change, that's a concern. And heat waves, as we know, can be dangerous for health. The air pollution agendas and climate agendas are not really linked institutionally. There are many reasons for this. One of the main reasons is that the climate agenda is so complex that tends to occupy people's minds completely and they don't really have time to concentrate on the ancillary benefits around the problem. It's perfectly possible to tackle climate change and air quality at the same time and indeed it's actually desirable to do it because you're acting on the same sources basically. So if we act on them together we can put in place kind of measures that address both of those sets of emissions. So it's a very desirable thing to do and it's a very technically possible thing to do as well. Most of the measures that benefit both local air pollution and climate are abatement measures such as the reduction of emissions of particles into the atmosphere, for example. Reducing them gives you benefits to climate, gives you benefits to public health, benefits to crop security. In many ways it's a kind of no-brainer, it's a real win-win.